Kids Day is always eventful, Coach. What are you expecting from dealing with the positivity of that, but also the noise itself? A big headache. <laughs> um, at Utah State, when we left, I remember thinking, holy crap, that was loud. Um, <laughs> and we're supposed to be triple it today. So I'm excited. But the girls, we've talked all week about echoing what I'm saying to them on the court. And obviously, I always want them doing that anyway. But it's a huge um, thing today because they got to be able to hear what they're what I'm saying and what I'm calling. Hey, no one's making more noise on the floor right now than Lauren Gustin. We did some math earlier. There's over 5,000 Division I women's college basketball players. She's out rebounding every single one of them. Is that coaching or is that just natural ability? That is all her. She um, has a nose for the ball and she has a motor that just doesn't quit. And I love, like at halftime, she'll say, Coach, what about you know? And I'm like, Whoa, you got this. Like, you are killing it right now. Like, and that's what I always want from her. She always wants to give her best effort and 110%. And so that's what I get every single time she steps on the floor. How valuable has her leadership been in this winning streak? In fact, during the losing. Um, she was one from day one that just trusted me in the process and what we were doing and just bought in. And so for me, I that leadership because everybody else came along with her and she doesn't ever question it. She just goes. And so I love that she brought that. So aside from her rebounding, scoring, whatever, her, it's her leadership that really, really, really sticks out for me. What else do you want from her or is she doing more than enough? Um, I love when she pulls a three pointer in the game <laughs> and she just, you know, it's, if it goes in, she's like, eh, and if it, if it doesn't go in, she's like, oh, and I'm like, keep shooting. Like, I love that she has that ability. She's extending her range a lot more. Um, so then she will be unstoppable. What's the value of Nani to this team as, as Lauren's doing all that she's doing when Nani has a good game, uh, you win. Mm -hmm. um, Nani is uh, her leadership and, is, and the way she can read the pick and rolls is invaluable. She has a nice little hezzy. She can get to the rim anytime she wants. Um, I've put a couple plays in on the fly for her in a game, and she'll come to the bench after she scores. She's like, I like that. And I, I just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who wouldn't? I know, and I just love that she just goes after it and she just goes and gets it. And for me, I love having her out there. And there's been a couple times defensively where I've kind of got after her and she responds. And that's huge for me um, and for our team when she takes the leadership role and is like okay I got to play defense I got to do this 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 and then everybody just falls in line and I love it being coachable is a big deal and that's awesome and when you call a good play that uh, goes in for it nice uh, play call coach that's great yeah um, the six game win streak certainly a big turnaround you have the toughest possible scenario to start conference play Ag on Zag on a Saturday if you're choosing not to practice on Sundays obviously at Portland on a Monday, the top two teams in the league. Since then, you haven't lost. What has been different other than not playing those top two teams? Um, for me, and I've talked to the girls a lot, it's one game at a time. So the sixth game win streak, you're only as good as your last game or only as good as the game you're stepping into. And so I just, it's easy to get soft in the wins, like as far when you're stringing them together, you know, to get complacent. And we're really trying to dial home that we have to learn something every single game that we step on the court, win or lose. And as long as we get better every game. So right now, I don't want to be peaking. I want to be peaking in February, you know, when it's time to step into the WCC tournament. And that's what's most important to us. So as long as we're getting better every single game, that's all that matters right now. And the wins are coming, yes, and it's fun, that part, yes. But I'm more concerned about our ability to show growth. And so that's where I'm, my mind's at right now. Amber Whiting's with us on BYU Sports Nation. Her Cougars live at the top of the hour. There's something inspiring about newness. You're a brand new Division I head coach. <laughs> uh, over the last two and a half months, what have you learned the most about yourself? Um, I have to be myself, 110%. I can't do anything else. I can't try to be anybody else. Um, and I remember when I was going through the interview process, you know, just saying that to myself before every interview because I didn't want people to get, uh, you know, to the end of this and pick me and, you know, not have somebody that they wanted. And so I've tried to just be myself. And there's times where I've messed up and I own, own it with the girls. I, you know, I say, you know, that's my bad. Um, but then we've also talked about what I stand for and what I represent. And I'm trying to instill that in the girls and give them a voice and teach them to be strong and um, to know who they are and to stay true to who they are. And so that really, really means a lot to me. Um, we talked the other day about what makes us, what is, what is it what, that puts us together. And the girls kind of started talking about uh, qualities that we have as a team. And each of them are individually 
um, amazing in their own right, and they bring something different to the team. But I feel like what we string together and what we own together as a group was really important. And some of the words that they came up with and the characters that they or the character traits that they came up with was really important to me. And I loved hearing it because it's what I've been trying to instill in my culture and what I want for them every single time. And that group is comprised of talented individuals that continue to grow. You keep adding to this group as well with uh, signees who are state players of the year, top recruit out of Spain, four-star transfers uh, from Oregon and whatnot. What has it taken to assimilate the group that you have this year and that you're building that looks to be really good next year? Um, I always look for the culture kids, the kids that are going to fit here and fit with us because um, that's huge first and foremost with the chemistry on the court. Obviously talent, but then I also am looking for the defensive dogs that I need out there. Um, and so as long as they have those three things, then I go down the road with them. Um, but I've just been the same, true to myself, and been who I am, and I've been personal with them, and just trying to show them how special BYU is. Um, it's almost like a pride thing. Like when uh, Marina landed, I was like so excited to show her what BYU is and what we have here and what we have created and um, why it's special. And it's just people fall in love when they come here. And so it's just getting them on campus. And that's the first huge step for me. And then after that, it kind of just works and it's easy. Hey, on a clear night, it's nice to look up in the sky and see stars over your program, <laughs> more so than <laughs> Than, uh, than we've had in some time. Speaking of stars, San Francisco's Cremili leads the WCC in scoring, averaging 18 points a game. What are the keys to dealing with her and the Dons today? Um, defensively, we've got to stick to the game plan and lock in. Um, we've worked all week long and put some of our guy squad in her spot, and they've given us really good looks. But it's defensively, we've got to guard her as a team and help each other out. And, you know, we can't just put one person on her, expect her to just do that the whole entire game. So. It's going to be a team effort, and she's a good, good player, so we just you know, got to try to limit her touches and limit her looks. Well, it should be a fantastic game coming up at the top of the hour right here on BYU TV. Best of luck, and thanks for the time, Coach Whiting. Thank Whiting. you. Thank you so much.